what a what a topic god topic gods today gave us all sorts of stuff chris all right let's start with it Let, let's let's get the laker thing out of the way here uh i don't want to go too laker crazy on this but uh ties out what's next well, I mean, you see the names out there. Jason Kidd, who they wanted to be on this staff, could end up being the guy. I think that would probably be LeBron's choice at this point. By the way, Milwaukee got significantly better when he left. Yeah, yeah. No no question about that. Uh, Lionel Hollins. I love Lionel Hollins. I love his style of coaching, which is I'm the boss. Yeah, no, he's tough. Right, and I like that, and he had great success in Memphis It'd be interesting, I don't know, it'd be interesting to see how that worked with LeBron. Frank Vogel, I think, is a good coach, not for LeBron. I don't think he'd get LeBron's respect. Woodson, Mike Woodson would be, you know, he'd be pretty good, too. So Let me throw this at you. The story that uh, uh, Rambuses are suggesting to Jeannie, trade LeBron and get a cache of gifts. What do you make of that? You ain't getting a cache of gifts. That's the problem. First of all, the, if you trade, Le LeBron wants to be in L.A., he came here, one reason was basketball, another reason was family, another reason was business. If he gets traded somewhere else, the other team's got to be like, he's not going to be happy. What, and what? we've seen LeBron sulk. So if you trade him somewhere, that's the first. There's four reasons you're not getting anything. And I was just talking to a GM this morning about it. One, is he going to want to be there? And if he's not, you got a problem. Two, the perception. Now, LeBron and his guys will tell you the reality is different. The perception is that he takes over yeah. the franchise. A GM doesn't want that. Third, expectations become championship or bust. All right. If you don't win the championship or get to the finals, you might lose your job as a GM. What GM wants that? Fourth, whether this is true or not, a lot of executives think LeBron is falling off. He's still great, still top five, but not the guy that no matter what you have around you is carrying you to the finals. Okay, I'm going to throw a team at you. And just give me a minute on this. If Sixers lose tonight, you got to blow some stuff up. I'm Jeannie Buss, Lonzo and LeBron. You go to Philly. Okay. We get Simmons, who Philadelphia doesn't fit, and I think there's Elton Brand already suggested trading him. Right. You give us Butler. You, you give us Simmons. We'll give you LeBron and Butler, well, you can't trade him because he's a free do a agent. Sign and trade. Do a sign and trade. But if you tell me Butler Simmons for LeBron and Lonzo, I, I got my know point. If it's that deep. Well, look, I I'm think just throwing it out there. I think there are two teams that it might make sense Who? to trade for LeBron. One is Boston because Danny, they're a great historic franchise that I don't think LeBron would frown on being a part okay. of. And Danny Ainge is like, let's win that all in. Let's win, okay? And I think LeBron could go there. And so I think that makes some sense. The second one is Philadelphia. Now, you'd have to work it out with Clutch. Ben Simmons is a Clutch client yeah. with Rich Paul. So they all have to be involved. Are they all happy with this? But I like LeBron in Philly with MB, no and, question. Hey, Simmons Look, and LeBron are interesting trade pieces. I, I was saying last summer, if LeBron, just, if it's just about winning, where can I go and stack more rings? Go to Philadelphia. That's if I know it was about other stuff, and that's there's no problem with that lifestyle stuff. That's fine. But if it's just about basketball, you should have went to Philly. Here's another one. Your guy, Embiid, because of the health concerns. What about him to the Lakers for LeBron? Yeah, but then Simmons and LeBron have a similar style game. Yeah, but I, look, if I have LeBron and Butler and Tobias, I'm I'm competitive in these. But I, I like your Simmons LeBron. Yeah, because right now LA is disappointed. Philadelphia is kind of a mess if they lose tonight, and they got all sorts of players. Philadelphia is the one. I don't want Butler in that if I'm the Lakers. Okay, because I don't want to give him my franchise. All right, Chris Broussard joining us. So last night, Charles Barkley's like, it's over. Uh, uh, you know, Golden State can't win. And my takeaway is we have data here. 29-4, and four, the Warriors when KD's out and Steph can play. Now, I don't think they'll win in Houston, but I actually think they'd win. The Warriors would win a game seven without KD and Golden State. Look, I I'm glad you're saying this because I've wondered, am I the only person on the planet that understands that Kevin Durant was a luxury, not a necessity? All right, the Warriors did not need Kevin Durant to win championships. They or, already won one. Or 73 games. They won 73. They beat a, and I'm going to say it, great OKC team. That, that OKC team with KD and Russ was great. 
They should have beat the Warriors. They had them 3-1. I don't know if they would have beat Cleveland or not, but they beat them. And then, with all due respect to LeBron, Kyrie, the Cavaliers, most people feel like if Draymond's not suspended for Game 5, Golden State wins that series. Yes. So they could have been two-time defending champions. And 73 wins. Yes. What happened with – this is what's happened. KD goes there to Golden State, and over time, Steph, Clay, all these people, they see oh, he, he's the best player. Like – He's by far. As great as Steph is, KD's the best player on that team. And they see it. And over time, they naturally began to defer to him. And so they're still good enough to win titles, but you see it's not as smooth and free-flowing as it used to be. And last night, as soon as he's gone, Steph takes over. Oh. I'm the, he, KD reminded us, I'm Kevin Durant. He reminded you, I'm Steph Curry. And also, they're more fluid. Yes. Harden's running around the floor chasing him. I want to I discuss Harden, what happened. What's happened to Chris Paul, who rarely looks at the basket. The Kyrie situation with Chris Broussard, don't go anyway. Kendrick Perkins next hour. Mother's Day. Okay, I've been telling you about Mother's Day now for two weeks. Uh, Sunday's the day. Okay, Sunday is the day. Mother's Day is coming. Your mom, grandma, sister, sister sister-in-law, kids' godmother. Sherry's Berries, one of the best products that we talk about on this show. Gigantic, delicious, luscious strawberries dipped in a variety of goodies. My favorite dark chocolate chips. They have the shimmer sugar, the swizzles. You choose the delivery date. Do it five minutes from now. It's all done. Then your work's done. Don't wait. Go to berries.com, freshly dipped strawberries, $19.99. Okay, you can double the berries for just 10 bucks more. It's Sunday, May 12th. Go to B-E-R-R-I-E-S.com. Berries.com, upper right side, click the mic, put in the code HERD, H-E-R-D. Berries.com, as good as anything, Sherry's Berries, we talk about on this show. A lot of people say 